Good evening and welcome to the RCDE Stadium in Cornea El Prat. And it's the derby, the first one of the season between Espanyol and Football Club Barcelona. Lovely little stadium this one is. Not completely full. Um, well, that's something you do with season two prize and so on. But what we're really looking forward to is what should be a very competitive game, shall we say, it has been in certainly over the last couple of seasons. Only last week, Gerard Moreno, Gerard Piquet in the uh, Barca game against Villarreal. We're, we're, we're having a little chat about, about it during the game, I think. But, uh, yeah, there's a good atmosphere. There always is because, of course, Espanyol will, their fans will see this as the, the one they really want to win. Barcelona have plenty of motivation, of course, because they want to extend their lead at the top of the table. Let's have a look at the Espanol lineup then. In goal, it's Diego Lopez at the back, Didac, Duarte, David Lopez and Javi Lopez, plenty of Lopez there. Roca, Victor, Melendo in midfield, joined by Darder, Hernan and Borja Iglesias, the out and out forward for the home team. On the bench, Roberto, Naldo, Rosales, Sergio Garcia, Baptistao, Piatti and Esteban Granero. A few raised eyebrows when um, Ruby announced the start in 11, uh, the referee this evening, Del Cero Grandi who's a UEFA elite referee, so he's considered to be one of the top referees you could possibly have. He's alongside Javi Lopez in the middle of the field, the Espanol captain, and of course, the captain of Barcelona, Leo Messi. Who's he going to be accompanied by this evening? Let's have a look. In goal, it's uh, Ter Stegen. At the back, Nelson Semedo, Piquet, Longley, and Jordi Alba. In midfield, Rakitic, Busquets and Vidal. And up front, Messi, Suarez and Dembele. On the bench, Sielsen, Dennis, Coutinho, Munir, Alenia, Vermelen and little Miranda. So we're about to get underway. Espanyol will attack the goal to our right. Barcelona will go to the left, of course, in the VAR room. Jaime Latra. Once again, I might, might have said this before, but the VAR has uh, been a uh, reasonable success, I would say. Some sets of fans would not agree. Obviously, if you've had decisions that the VAR haven't corrected or they haven't been act up, acted upon, in, uh, you know you know what we're like as fans. We tend to see the one, one side of things. But uh, we're underway. Barcelona with the initial possession. It's Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba will be looking forward to going down that wing and uh, seeing what he can get out of Javi Lopez with the help of Dembélé, of course. PK is on the ball. You hear an elevated number of whistles when Gerard Piquet gets the ball um, due to uh, differences of opinion, shall we say, over recent years. There he is again, Gerard Piquet wearing gloves. It's a little bit nippy in Barcelona this evening. The temperature kind of dropped yesterday, although during the day it's wonderfully sunny. Back to the action, Rakitic has the ball for Barcelona, switching it out to the right-hand side. Messi can't get there, Didac Vila heads it away, but it's flicked back by Piquet towards Suarez. Ball almost picked up there by Messi. A little turn and block there, and there's the first free kick of the evening. Semedo on Victor Sanchez. Sanchez running into Semedo. There's that never-ending debate about whether the player's been blocked or he's run into somebody, but it was a fairly innocent um, challenge or encounter between the two of them. Ruby, as I said, manager of Espanyol, ex-Barca boy, so um, he'll be wanting to show that what he learned with FCB can be applied this evening as Didac Lopez with a long ball forward, headed back by Longley, flipped back towards the Barcelona half and Longley once again flicks it down for Jordi Alba. Alba's ball towards Suarez. Not reaching his target, Jordi Alba, another one that some of the Espanol fans might be giving a few whistles, uh, a few free extra ones, shall we say. Villa, Didan Villa, being hounded by Vidal. 
I think you'll see that Del Cero Grande is one of the referees that likes to get the control on the game from early on. So uh, that could be good news for this man, Ernesto Valverde. Long ball by Espanol down this near touchline. Jordi Alba flicks it away and it'll be a throw into Espanol halfway inside the Barca half. And Nan loses out to Dembele and Luis Suarez clears the ball into space on the far side. Semedo now bringing it forward, has support there from Arturo Vidal. And it's Semedo dropping the ball off for the Chilean midfielder again. Back it goes to, yes, you can guess, it's Gerard Piquet. Piquet alongside Longley. Now Rakitic, the severe connection on this near side, pushing the ball out to Jordi Alba. Alba just caught by Inan Perez there after he had played the ball. So um, some hustling already from the blue and whites. Vidal now combining with Semedo once more. The ball going back to Piquet. Piquet plays it inside to Longley. Out to Jordi Alba. Alba, good ball down the middle to Luis Suarez. Now Leo Messi on the right. He's got Semedo on the overlap, but he stepped past one, gives it to Suarez. The ball just coming off the referee. Vidal plays it into the edge of the area, but the ball cleared by Sergi Dade. Piquet once again on the ball. Now Semedo. Smedo combining with Vidal. Vidal kind of out there on the right wing at the moment. Plays it back inside to Nelson Smedo. A little foot in there from Victor Sanchez. Means it'll be a throw in to the pink or salmon shirted Barcelona. Paul ball there by Semedo. Gives it away to Borja Iglesias. Pull back to Didac. Didac looking to feed him, but well covered by Semedo. Semedo looking for the one two with Suarez. Suarez now combines with Busquets. Vidal back to Piquet. Now Rakitic in the centre circle, just pushing into the Espanyol half. Now Dembélé. Dembélé in the middle of the field, plays it out to Semedo. More or less a 4-5-1 from Espanyol. Defending fairly deeply, so Barca are able to come up to the halfway Mark in their half. Messi looks for the one to his Suarez. Couldn't put it through the legs of Didac. And now Sergi Dardet being crowded out by Vidal. The ball with Inan. Inan inside to Mark Rocker. A lot of the ball will go through the Espanol number 21, Mark Rocker. He's their guiding light in the midfield areas. Victor Sanchez plays a decent ball down the right hand side to Inan. Inan plays into the box, headed away by Piquet. As far as Dembélé, Busquets tips it back to Longley and a ball out of danger there forward. One for Dembélé to get onto after the flicked on header by Suarez. He's robbed of the ball though, and the ball is back with the keeper. Now Rocker, little push there, manages to once again give it to Diego Lopez. There's a player down away from the action and there'll be a free kick given against Busquets I think Luis Suarez shakes his head and the referee saw the encounter there but it was a, a real shoulder to shoulder David Lopez and uh, Suarez debating that point as Espanyol have possession now. Down the left-hand side. Once again, Mark Rocker plays it there. Semedo is there first, but Didac picks up the loose ball. One for Borja to chase. It's down by the byline. He's got Piquet tight on him. And plays a poor ball to the edge of the box. Rakitic is there to give it to Vidal. Vidal back to Piquet. Hence the whistles. Piquet. Lifts the ball down the right hand side, but to no one in particular, and it's Oscar Duarte who feeds it through. And now they've given the ball away a couple of times now. Espanyol have been sloppy, and Dembele plays it out to Leo Messi. Messi on the edge of the area. Messi still looking to get onto his left foot, and eventually there were just too many blue and white shirts around him. 
and unable to get the shot off as Jordi Alba plays the ball out for a throw in in favour of the Blue and Whites halfway inside their own half. There's a little shortage of space around the Espanol area, as I said, more or less nine players in that narrow stretch of 10 metres from the edge of the penalty area as Espanyol move the ball forward. Vidal gets a foot in and PK plays it calmly out of Rakitic. Rakitic gives it to Dembélé inside the Espanyol half. Now Busquets brings in Vidal. Vidal out to Semedo. Back into Vidal. Now PK finds Ivan Rakitic. Barca unbeaten in the league in this stadium. They did, of course, have that hiccup in the cup last season. As PK is bringing the ball forward, he scored in the last league encounter here. Boy, did he enjoy that. Leo Messi plays it to the edge of the area, looking for the one-two with Suarez. Once again, there's a blue and white shirt in between. Nice skills there by Sanchez, who finds Sergi Dardet. Now in Nan into Borja Iglesias, who shoots, but way, way wide of the goal, much closer to the corner flag than the goal. He really is the man Espanyol looked to for goals, though. He scored almost 50% of the team's efforts this season. Eight league goals so far for Borja Iglesias. Back to the action. It's Dembélé on the ball. Just trips inside in and gives it to Leo Messi. Drops off for Busquets. Oh, and uh, Dembélé's giving it away to Borja. Now Oscar Melendo. Melendo combining with Didac. Down the wing. Piquet just bumps into Victor Sanchez. There was a big hug between... Sanchez and Busquets before the game. So many of these players have come across each other or played alongside each other in youth ranks. Um, just looking at the Espanyol star in 11, four of them are Barcelona born. So they will, well may have played with or know some of the Barcelona players from the very, very early days. As Sergi Darder plays the ball out to the right to Javi Lopez. Javi Lopez's ball cut out by Jordi Alba. Alba now will play it inside to Busquets. Lovely little flick, but again, a blue and white shirt in the way. It's very tight. There is a Nan tries to get around Alba, picked up by Melendo. Melendo. Crowded out by Vidal and Busquets, but now Espanyol have got the ball back with Sergi Dardet combining with Inan down the right hand side to Javi Lopez. Jordi Alba clears the ball and it comes off the leg of Javi Lopez. No complaints there from the Espanyol right back, and it'll be an es a Barca throw in. As I said, Leo Messi there just moments ago trying to get onto his left foot. There were four players. Around him. Ten minutes gone in uh, Cornell Prat. It's Espanyol nil, Barcelona nil. Entertaining start to the game. The ball now with Nelson Semedo. Semedo inside to Leo Messi. Messi stepping forward. Has support from Vidal. Vidal back to Leo. Leo to Rakitic. The play switch to the left hand side. Jordi Alba. Alba into Busquets. Busquets will bring in Longley. Everybody except Ter Stegen inside the Spaniel half. Leo Messi tricks his way past one. Still Messi. Out to Semedo. Chance to play the ball in. And it's a corner to Barcelona. The best and most incisive move of the game so far with Leo Messi tripping. Round one and bringing in Semedo, he was just on side, and the ball flicked away by the Espanol captain Lopez for a first corner of the game. Right hand side, as we look at goal, as usual, a short corner is an option. It's taken. Demele gives it to Messi. Messi back to Alba. Messi into the area, the ball headed away. Espanyol will find it coming right back at them, though, because Rakitic is there. Alongside Semedo, now forward to Jordi Alba. Rakitic. 
Ron Kitic. Back to Longley. Albert combining with Dembele. Sanchez gets foot in. The ball picked up by Busquets. Busquets loses possession to Melendo. Sergi down there bringing it forward. We'll have to wait for support. Indeed, turns back. Gives it to Javi Lopez. And Melendo unable to get any change out of Alba. The ball will be a throw in. To FCB just in front of the benches. And just inside the Barca half. Dembele back to Alba. Alba to Longley. And TT, one of several players out injured for Barcelona alongside Rafinha, Samper, Malcolm, Atour, and Sergi Roberto. Spaniel missing Hermoso in the central position. This is Didac. Didac, long ball forward. Nobody there though. And PK will just let the ball run out for a throw in on the far side. The ball with Longley. Then forward to Rakitic. Out to the left, Dembele. Dembele supported by Jordi Alba. Alba back to the Croatian midfielder. Piquet finds the world's number one, Leo Messi. Messi pushing it back to Longley. Down the left hand side to Jordi Alba. Alba looks for the ball to Swarif. Swarif unable to return it, but he does give it to teammate PK. PK out to Semedo. Semedo to Leo Messi. Messi Busquets. Busquets out to Jordi Alba. Alba to Leo Messi, looking for the ball into the box, headed away. Espanol give it away. Long lay and then PK. PK back to the Frenchman. And to Jordi Alba inside to Rakitic. Swanee of Tem the middle for Barcelona. Dembele on the left. Messi more or less to the right. The ball goes to the left to Jordi Alba. Alba to Arturo Vidal. Space on the right there for Semedo. Spotted and the ball given to Nelson Semedo plays into the box, flicked away by Duarte. This time Melendo is on it and has support from Borja Iglesias. Ball back with Melendo. Busquets was there to receive the ball after Long Lay got a foot in. Now Leo Messi bringing it forward. Messi's gone through two. No, he's not. He's been tripped up. And it'll be a free kick. And the only debate there is I'm just thinking whether Del Cero Grande was thinking of a yellow card, but it was a real sandwich of a challenge. But I tell you what, folks, it's in Leo Messi territory. It really is where the Argentinian superstar would want to be given a free kick slightly to the right of the D. And Diego Lopez will be attentive to Leo Messi's intentions here. Well, I think if you'd wanted to give a card there, it would have been Mark Rocker, but 15 minutes gone still, maybe a little bit early to reach into his pocket. Things still Cerro Grande. Now this, if you're looking at goal as Leo Messi is, you, you just, Diego Lopez knows this as well. Top right, top right corner. I mean, hey, it could go anywhere, but Lopez will be aware of Leo Messi's most likely destination for the ball will be over the wall to the top right. And that's not a nice feeling to have when you've got Leo Messi over the ball. It would be just his third goal in his visits here. Not been a happy hunting ground, but he has scored plenty against Espanyol. Leo Messi then with the free kick. Messi steps up, hits it, it's in the net! Leo Messi has put it just where we thought he would. Top right-hand corner, Lopez knew it, Messi knew it, 
We all pretty much knew it, but there was nothing he could do to stop it. And that, as I said, is a horrible feeling when you're facing a free kick from the world's number one footballer, possibly the world's number one free kick taker as well. 17 minutes gone, and it's Espanyol 1, Barcelona, uh, Espanyol 0, Barcelona 1. Really was a wonderfully struck free kick over the wall. Really dipped and curled into the very corner of the net. Lopez knew and he made a valiant effort to get there. Might just have grazed at the tips of his fingers, but he couldn't quite do any more than that. And uh, Leo Messi celebrates the goal that has given Barcelona a one goal lead just after 70 minutes. And indeed, it's the first effort on goal. So one shot, one goal, 100% efficient so far as the ball goes up the other end. Flag goes up, it'll be an offside against Espanyol. So 32 derbies for Leo Messi. Plenty of goals, 22 now against Espanyol. As Jordi Alba picks it up, it really has been a game dominated by the passing of FCB so far it's PK on the ball just up by the halfway line inside to Rakitic Rakitic just edging forward good run by Leo Messi's around the back there there was no flag there is now well the fans are getting annoyed but linesmen generally are keeping the flag down to not prevent a goal scoring opportunity because of course if the ball goes in the back of the net if it is offside VAR will let us see this and it'll be disallowed but if you incorrectly flag a player and they score it, it just seems to make sense I'm, I'm, you might have guessed I'm a big fan of VAR the VAR system it's been used I think quite successfully both here and in Germany Back to the action, it's Vidal to Semedo. Semedo just chipped up there by Victor Sanchez. Del Cerro Grande coming up to the 20-minute mark. I think a uh, fine performance so far by the man in black here. He's, I think, whistled everything that needed whistling. Victor Sanchez on this occasion did get a foot to the ball, so you can see his reason for complaining but uh, as I say good refereeing performance so far and the reason Barcelona winning is because they've had two-thirds of the possession Suarez and to Dembele Dembele just steps inside looks to play it out to the Ryan side the ball headed away only as far as Semedo Semedo to Messi Messi Trying to get away from D. Dak, plays inside to Dembele. Dembele steps around Mark Rocker, plays a lovely ball through, but it was well read by D. Dak. No Espanyol in possession, but under pressure themselves from Dembele and Busquets. Busquets gives it to Leo Messi. Messi in front of him, must score! Lopez. Super Lopez is able to clear it. I thought Suarez was going to put that one in. Just in line with the penalty spot. Plenty of time to put it away. The second chance on goal. So we've had an excellent free kick and a fine save by Diego Lopez. It's Lopez with the ball now. Lopez plays it out to Lopez. It's Diego to Javi. And it'll be a throw in. Busquets and Dembélé robbed the ball. Leo Messi gave it to Suarez. You would have bet on him putting it away, but Diego Lopez was able to spread well. There is the 21-minute applause. Daniel Harke, of course, who passed away, a great friend of Andres Iniesta's. And uh, it really is a great tribute moment. The whole stadium joined it in. As the action continues, Espanyol have the ball in the box. There's a header wide from Sanchez. But it was always going to be a forced effort indeed. Bartomeu alongside the Espanyol.
president both applauding along with the rest of the stadium. It's a whole minute of applause to remember and celebrate Danny Harke. It's Jordi Alba on the ball now. Plays it inside to Busquets. Busquets back to Longley. Longley finds Gerard Piquet. Piquet stepping forward. Still a few whistles for Gerard as he won twos with Nelson Semedo. Piquet just inviting Borja forward. Space again for Semedo. Semedo's been seen plenty of ball down the right hand side. Plays it in to Luis Suarez. Swanif, good pass with the outside of his boot, but Dembele had to trap back for that one. Gives it to Alba, Alba inside to Rakitic. Alba once more with Dembele into Rakitic. They won two, trying to draw Espanyol out. And Piquet plays inside to Leo Messi. A little triangle there with Vidal. Then Messi to Rakitic. Dembele on the ball. Good run by Jordi Alba. Alba plays it back. Suarez, Suarez leaves the ball for Leo Messi. Well, I say leaves the ball. He actually couldn't control it. Messi closed down. And now Melendo. Oscar Melendo on the ball out to Borja. Borja has the overlap of Didac. Can't get the ball around Busquets, though. And that was... Uh, Pity as far well, as the blue whites were concerned, they certainly had players forward on this occasion as the ball cleared at the other end by Duarte. Melendo can't get on the end of it, but Longley can, and he plays it back to Ter Stegen, who's had a remarkably quiet evening so far. Vidal into Semedo, just on the halfway line, forward to the world's number one, back to Vidal. No, Leo Messi. Seen a couple of good runs from Leo. One led to the free kick being awarded. The free kick that gives us the only goal of the game so far. 1-0 to Barcelona. Three points. Victory would take them three points clear of the top of the table. As Piquet brings it forward. Good run by Semedo, good ball by PK. Semedo looked to play it in, has to trick his way around Didac, can't do so. Vidal now to Busquets, Rakitic finds Dembele, Dembele to Jordi Alba, Alba on the edge of the area to Messi, Alba gets the return ball, looking for Suarez, Suarez tries the back heel, doesn't really come off. Espanyol having trouble clearing this ball. Jordi Alba now putting pressure on Victor Sanchez, who gets off to Hernan. Hernan's ball into the middle. Some meadows there to meet it. Vidal on the edge of the D. Leaves it for Leo Messi. Messi gets around two. Can't get around the third, but gets to his feet. Recovers the ball. Gives it to Dembele. Dembele. He hits it the net again. Leo Messi with the assist. Dembele with a shot, it's just 25 minutes gone. And could that be game over? Dembele makes it 2-0 for Barcelona. And it was the persistence of Leo Messi that supplied that goal. The Barcelona captain looked like he was trying the impossible to get the ball away from three defenders who were crowding him out. And eventually he did, picked it up from Vidal, really was in an almost impossible situation, went down, got to his feet, got a little bit of help from Vidal, spotted that Dembélé wasn't offside, Dembélé stepped into the area and stroked the ball into the back of the net, kind of like Coutinho goal, if you like, it's also a Dembélé goal, because that's what it is, but uh, just to describe it better, it's one of those... I'll just stroke it in with my right foot, the way Ronnie O'Sullivan would pot a ball. I mean, you don't really want to know about the snooker comparisons, but it was a good strike by Dembélé, but the credit so far, the MVP of the game for Barcelona, clearly Leo Messi. The ball now with Javi Lopez inside to Roca. 
Sanchev, Victor Sanchev looking for Melendo. The ball cut out by Rakitic. They recover the ball momentarily, but it's Medo who gets it back, gives it to PK. PK to Longley. And Rakitic. Certainly a more comfortable start to the game than a lot of Barca fans would have expected. Jordi Alba now. Suarez unable to get round his man as Sergi Dardai wins it. Borca will be offside, will he? No. No flag, but he's not got a lot up there. Now Sergi Dardai, long range effort, but way, way, way over the crossbar. And it'll be a goal kick, and Testegan will get a rare touch of the ball here. Just looking at the goal again, Leo Messi somehow got away from Rocker and Sanchez. Brought down by Duarte, well, he went down, but he managed to keep control of the ball. And with the help of Vidal, was able to give it to Dembele, who gratefully accepted the gift of a goal. Pique on the ball now for FCB. As Rakitic is the nearest support. Rakitic plays it back to Longley. Not the best of balls, though, as Espanyol pick it up. Now in Nan. Looks for Melendo. Good recovery there from Arturo Vidal. That was exactly the kind of challenge and winning of the ball that uh, Barca were looking for when they signed Arturo Vidal. It's Melendo plays inside to Roca. Now Didac. Didac. Once more to Roca. Plays it forward. Well cut out by Semedo. Another player who's shining. In the RCD Stadium this evening. It's Leo Messi beats two. Leo Messi's on a run now. He's on a mission. Advancing towards the area. Gives it to Suarez. Suarez! Ball back to Leo Messi. Just a fraction too much on that ball. And I think the flag has gone up on Suarez here. But Leo Messi through the legs of Didac. Rounded Sergi. Gave the ball to Suarez, was looking to get on the end of it. So basically what Leo Messi was doing there was an assist and trying to score the goal. It, 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 what can he say? It, it's, it's always difficult, I have to admit, um, describing Leo Messi. All the words have been used. Sergi in the middle with Mark Rocker on the ball now for Espanyol. Out to the right, Cami Lopez. Inside to Sergi. Then Rocker flicks it into the box, headed away by Semedo, and it'll be a first corner of the game for the budgies of Cornea El Prat. Half hour gone, the scoreline Espanol nil, Barcelona two, but it is a corner now for the blue and whites on the left hand side as we look at goal. What a piece so far. In this Barcelona derby. As the ball played into the near side. Oh, and it was flicked on and maybe came off a defender. Some fans thought it had gone in, but it went into the side net in second corner for the home team. Again, played low towards the near post. It'll be another corner. Third corner in a row. Some Espanol players complaining about a challenge there by Luis Suarez. Del Cedo Grande with the task of spotting the naughty boys. The ball again is low, flicked away by Suarez. Melendo plays it out to Sanchez. He plays it into the box, headed down. And Stegen had to be on his toes there. It was a first effort on goal there from Oscar Duarte. In the end, Testegger well positioned and able to collect the ball without too many problems. Long lay. Long ball up towards the centre circle. Swanif going down under the challenge of Duarte, but not before he could get the ball away to Leo Messi. Referee, good decision there. The, there was no real advantage. Swanif had stayed down, so calls it back for a free kick. Swanif and Duarte 
wrestling a little bit there was Duarte with the header just moments ago. Espanyol's only attempt on goal so far. It's Piquet plays inside to Busquets. Long lay. It's Jordi Alba to his left. Alba, little back heel, an effective one that sets off Dembele. Dembele unable to get around Javi Lopez. And uh, Espanyol have it. Ball into Sergi. Looks for Sanchez. Now Duarte drops the ball off for Rocker. Messi after 17 minutes. Dembele after 26 means that it's 2 0 to Barca. Rocker plays it out to his left. Sanchez. Is it to Didac inside for Oscar Melendo? Melendo has a lot of work to do here. Tries to get to the byline, unable to get around Semedo and Vidal. Vidal recovers, then loses possession. The ball across the area, and it'll be cleared by Jordi Alba. He wasn't sure if there was anyone behind him, so he conceded a fourth corner of the game to Espanyol. Once again, on the left hand side, as we look at goal, Victor Sanchez to take. Previous three have been hard and low. This one with a little bit more height, and the ball goes out for a goal kick. I think it was David Lopez, the Espanol captain, who made the last contact. So it'll be a goal kick. Ter Stegen, just the one effort for him to deal with so far. This header just a couple of minutes ago from the Costa Rican centre half, Oscar Duarte. Espanyol recover the ball in midfield. With Roca. Sergi. Sergi down there, that is the ex Malaga. And be a real winger. As the ball goes all the way back to Duarte. Duarte out to Didac. Borca Iglesias had started off on a run. He would have been offside. The blue and whites maintain possession. Didac, little one two with Roca. Foot in from Semedo. Espanyol recover possession. Ball down the middle towards Borja. And just a little bit too much height on it. Certainly, Espanyol have enjoyed the last five minutes more than any other section of the game. Busquets. Back to Piquet. Piquet slings the ball out to Jordi Alba. Alba spots the run by Dembele, but so does David Lopez. David gives it to Javi Lopez. Ball down the middle, recovered by Rakitic. Now Dembele to Suarez. Suarez drops the ball off for Leo Messi. Messi to Suarez! Off the ball stands! It'll be a corner because Vidal's shot is blocked. But it was almost goal number three. And Leo Messi has set up Suarez for two wonderful opportunities. This time, an acrobatic attempt from Suarez came off the inside of the post. And we're into the last 10 minutes of the first half. That surely would have sealed the victory for Barcelona. Already it's looking a daunting task for Espanyol. This corner will come straight in. Leo Messi looking for Jordi Alba. Shot is blocked on the edge of the six, but that was another, yet another combination between Leo Messi and his pal Jordi Alba, as in Nan unable to get around a very impressive Nelson Semedo this evening. He gives it to Messi, well recovered by Mark Rocca. Now Didac goes down, little foot in there from Vidal, but I think it'll just be a throw in to Espanyol on the far side. Indeed it is. Oh, with the blue and whites, with Duarte, Duarte, David Lopez, forward to Roca. David Lopez, Roca once more, robbed to the ball by Rakitic, good thinking by Rakitic, gives it to Suarez, Suarez on the edge of the D, to Dembele, Dembele back into Rakitic, I oh, want to say, and now it's off the inside of the post by Leo Messi, well a double opportunity, and indeed the flag goes up, not sure which player was offside, but uh, 
really wonderful run by Rakitic. He got the ball, carried on the run into the area. He wouldn't have been offside. I'm not sure where the flag is there, but uh, maybe a touch Rakitic as Leo Messi's ball off the inside of the post. So Barcelona now with six occasions on goal. They've had two goals, two posts, and two really good saves by Diego Lopez. So uh, I wouldn't put it past Barcelona, add into their tally in the rest of the game and indeed in the rest of this first half. It's a PK to Longley. That was all Rakitic, that move. Out to Jordi Alba. Back inside to another ex Sevilla player, Longley. Forward to Dembele. Dembele to Ivan Rakitic. And Semedo to Leo Messi. Good ball for Semedo to try and get on the end of. Didac is able to play the ball out for a throw in. They felt there was a little bit too much contact between Semedo and Didac. Semedo, though, with the throwing, gives it to Suarez. Suarez unable to get around his man. And the ball picked up by Diego Lopez. Diego Lopez, arguably Espanyol's best player of the first half so far. Javi Lopez. To David Lopez. Lopez gives it away to Rakitic, whose pass is picked up by Roca. Roca. More dedicated to defensive work than uh, offensive so far in this game. As PK plays it back to Testegen. Testegen to Longley. Testegen. Well, the ball recovered by Espanyol. He's played through now, but a good recovery by Busquets. Vidal gives it to PK. PK out to Nelson. Semedo, Semedo dinks the ball towards Vidal. Vidal's ball, a little bit too much on in there, and it runs through to Diego Lopez. Rocker under pressure from Busquets. Rocker there looking a little bit fed up almost because Barca certainly winning the midfield battle. Here they go again, trying to get back possession. David Lopez almost losing it to Dembele. Rocker. Out to Didac, Didac, the left back, just brings it down. He's got Victor Sanchez to his left. Instead, switches to Javi Lopez. Lopez inside to Sergi Dardair. Dardair tricks his way around Rakitic, but the pass straight to Jordi Alba. Now the ball is Melendos. Melendo to Rocker. Dax ball just blocked by Vidal for a throw in as we go into the last five minutes. Five minutes, Barca winning 2 0 and dominating in the RCD stadium. It's Leo Messi now bringing it forward. Messi has looked sparkling so far. Still, Leo Messi tries to go all the way and the ball bounces off his knee. There are a lot of blue and white shirts around him once again. And Sergi Dardair. Supported by David Lopez. Lopez inside to Mark Rocker. Jorge Iglesias has made the run. Now Sanchez. Out to Didac. Didac looking to get the ball around Semedo. Plays it in. There's the header. Not a bad effort by Hernan Perez, but the header always going over the crossbar. Indeed, Ter Stegen didn't really feel the need to go for this one. It's a good cross by Didac. And Hernan got a powerful header in, but always going over the crossbar. So, Spaniels, I was saying, just attacking with more frequency in the last 10 minutes, but leaving a little bit more space at the back for Barcelona to exploit free kick at the moment for the challenge on Leo Messi in the midfield area. Just pushed over by Didac. As Rakitic plays out to Jordi Alba. Just eight free kicks so far, and certainly 
no yellow cards and no yellow cards required. It's been a very sporting affair as Semedo picks up play for FCB. Inside to Arturo Vidal. Vidal gives it to Busquets. Then Rakitic forward to Dembele. Dembele not far outside the area, but Nan got a foot in. Rakitic goes down. There was a high foot from Sergi Dade. The referee explaining that it would be a free kick for dangerous play. Level 42 on the clock, two goals to Barcelona. And this free kick, certainly not shooting distance. It's kind of like Dimitri Payet distance. And uh, I would imagine Leo Messi will be looking to play this ball towards the penalty spot. Piquet will be one of the keenest to get on the end of it. It's played into the area, the ball headed away. But it's Busquets and there's a flag there. Strange that one because play continued. But as I said, the linesman now allowing play to continue. So I imagine there was someone offside on the free kick. Indeed, there was um, Suarez was offside as the free kick was taken. And that's where the flag was. Suarez debating the point with <laughs> Del Cero Grande as is his way. And eventually we'll get the free kick taken by Diego Lopez. Flicked on and out to the right. This is Javi Lopez. Lopez plays the ball in, but Busquets is there. And Rakitic gives it to Vidal. Vidal to Semedo. Semedo playing forward to Leo Messi. Good one, two with Rakitic. Leo Messi bringing the ball forward. Turns inside his man. A rare poor pass from the world's number one means it's blue and white ball with Enan. Enan, oh, and Leo Messi has tracked all the way back there, determined to make up for his error, and he did. He recovered the ball, and it's now with Semedo. Semedo to Vidal, back to Piquet. We're into the last minute. There'll be no time added on. There's not been any side to the physios, and indeed, there's not been anybody really complaining of uh, any foul play so I would imagine we won't get any time added on it's Vidal who plays it out to Dembele Suarez wants it Suarez bursting into the area Suarez still Suarez still Suarez and he's got it into the net Luis Suarez has scored from an impossible angle and the stadium goes silent nobody could believe how he got that ball in Suarez was being pushed to the byline. There was no angle at all, and Luis Suarez scores his 10th goal of the season. And there is absolute silence apart from the odd pockets of Barca fans. But really, there are fans just sitting around saying, what happened? Suarez not offside. Excellent ball by Dembele. Suarez being shepherded away from goal and then he got it through the legs of Diego Lopez so with 45 minutes on the clock Barca make it 3-0 and that is an incredible goal for Suarez to go alongside Dembele and Leo Messi's goals the trident up front have all scored now and been highly effective that is a fine first half from Barcelona and surely Espanyol won't be able to come back. We'll join you for the second half. That's all for now, folks. Welcome back to the second half in the RCD E Stadium in Cornea El Prat. It's Saturday night fever in Barcelona and certainly if you're a Cule, you will have enjoyed the first half a very convincing performance from Barcelona indeed with goals by one one goal each by all three forwards Leo Messi Dembele and Suarez scoring and it's going to be a very very tough way back for the blue and whites of Espanyol who get us underway they'll be playing towards the goal to our left Barca attacking the goal to our right it's Espanyol with the initial possession as the ball goes out to Javi Lopez they will need to improve on their first half goal attempts 
with just the one save for Tistegan. There's Melendo on the ball now to Sergi Dader. Back to David Lopez. Lopez out to Didac. Didac pushing the ball forward. Dropped off by Borja. To Mark Rocker. Now Sergi Dader spots a little bit of space out on the right for Hernan. He plays it back in, the ball into the box. It'll be cleared for a corner in the opening minute of the second half. A corner to Espanyol on the right-hand side as we look at goal, their fifth of the game. 24,000 in the RCDE Stadium for this derby. As was uh, prepared to defend the corner. Swung in low to the near post again, and really you'd think they would uh, try and put a little bit of variety into their corners. All five have been near post and pretty low and easy to deal with. As Espanyol recover the ball in midfield, they line up with Diego Lopez in goal, a back four of Javi Lopez, uh, David Lopez, Duarte and Didac, and in midfield, Sergi Dade, Mark Roca and Victor Sanchez. Up front, Inan, Borja and Oscar Melendo. Barcelona with Ter Stegen in goal, a back four of Semedo, Piquet, Longley and Jordi Alba in midfield. Vidal, Busquets and Rakitic and up front, the three goal scorers, Dembele, Suarez and Leo Messi. There'll be another corner for Espanyol, their second of the second half, and it'll be taken by Mark Rocca, a change of direction maybe. Here's their sixth of the game. Rocker then, the left footer, about to swing this one in. And again, it's low near post and uh, six corners in a row and almost identical, you would have thought. They might have varied it. Espanyol recover the ball and play it back towards the Barca goal. Borja Iglesias drops it off now for Didac. Didac plays it off the referee. Luckily for him, it comes back to him. And now Sergi Dade combining with Didac. Back inside to Sergi Dade. Dade. Forced to play it out to Javi Lopez. Lopez showed a little bit too much of the ball to Dembele. Who starts off on the run. Still Dembele threading it through. And that was well read by Javi Lopez. Otherwise, Leo Messi would have been on the end of it. And Lopez. Well, you say that, don't you? You say something good about a player. Javi Lopez, great. And then, then he plays it out for a throw-in. But uh, that's the way it works. As the ball goes back to Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen waiting to be approached. Plays the ball forward. Espanyol recovery in midfield. It's with Victor Sanchez. Now Didac in support. Didac plays it into the middle to Mark Rocker. Rocker dinks it into the box, headed away by Jordi Alba. Busquets unable to clear the ball, so it's now with Victor Sanchez. Plays into the area, Melendo. Melendo tried to put it through the legs of PK. He wasn't having any of that, but Espanyol got the ball back in midfield. It's Didac combining with Rocker. Now Dardair. Dardair. Out to the right hand side to Inan Perez. Inan unable to get the ball around Jordi Alba, but he will get it back and gives it to Dardair. Dardair. Playing it back to David Lopez. Now Rocker. Rocker to Didac. Out it goes to Victor Sanchez. Unable to get the ball in. Semedo had a fine first half, blocks it as Luis Suarez plays it out to the left hand side. It's Dembele picking it up for the salmon shirted Barcelona. The ball inside now to Van Rakitic. He gives it to Busquets. Busquets finds Semedo. Out to Arturo Vidal. Of course, nobody really on the right wing for Barcelona. With Dembele on the left, Swalif down the middle, and Leo Messi drifting wherever he wants, and that's a good thing because he's been very effective so far. Leo Messi 
scored the free kick, which he himself provoked as an assist as well. As Barca have the ball with long lay. Now it goes to Jordi Alba, just over five minutes into the second half. It's Espanyol nil, Barcelona three. But it's Espanyol with the ball now, down the right-hand side, and Nan, and Nan driving forward into the box. Easy ball for Rakitic to clear. And Jordi Alba plays it down the wing. Has it gone out? It has. It'll be a throw-in halfway inside the Barca half. Rocker will drop the ball off for his captain, David Lopez. Lopez to Rocker. Now Victor Sanchez. Rocker. Now to Dida. They did well to get the ball away from Vidal. Dandere out to Inan. Inan drills the ball across the area. No, lifted in the end. I thought he was going to go for an easier ball. It wasn't a, an easy one for Borja, but he's recovered it. Now Didac, Didac losing out to Semedo, brings him down. Oh, play continues. And it's Borja Iglesias to Melendo. Melendo, Didac. Now Roca finds Sanchez. to Sanchez, to Dardere. Now out to the right-hand side, Inan tries to play the ball in, and it'll be a corner. So Espanyol certainly winning on the corner count, but as I said just now, and indeed in the first half, their corners have been highly ineffective. Will they change tack with this one? Certainly got players who can do damage in the air. This one towards the six, headed away by Vidal. The shot is out towards the corner flag, and uh, Testagen will collect the ball for a goal kick. But that was a corner that almost asked questions of the Barcelona defence. Semedo gets the ball taken away from him. Borja Iglesias losing out to Vidal. Now Busquets plays it back to BK and Vidal in no hurry gives it back to Gerard PK. PK will win a throw in off the foot of Borja Iglesias. Remarkable how Barcelona refused to pump the ball upfield then. Very tidily winning the throw in. PK this time will play it long. It's picked off by Duarte. Rocker combining with Didac. Back to Duarte, who had that header in the first half, possibly Espanyol's best effort of the game. Indeed, you could say only effort of the game so far. As Busquets has it for Barca towards Leo Messi. Messi, who is brought down by a combination of Javi Lopez and Roca. I think he's landed uncomfortably. Vidal, amongst the Barca players, wanted a yellow card. There's been none given so far in this game, and there's not really been any dastardly challenges. That was a little bit of a sandwich there on Leo Messi. Javi Lopez was going in and uh, well, I think Mar Rocker would argue that he got his foot on the ball, but that wasn't the case. It was uh, on the ankle of Leo Messi. No damage seems to have been done, though. So uh, Leo Messi initially holding his left ankle, is back on his feet. And it's a free kick. This one some distance out, but... Well, the form Leo Messi's in, I think he might go for that top right again. This one's to the right of the D, uh, left of the D rather, as we look at goal. But still, you could see this uh, ending up behind Diego Lopez, 29 metres out. Luis Suarez claiming this one as well, I think. So the wall is where it should be. We're just waiting for Del Cero Grande to blow his whistle 10 minutes into the second half. Messi over the ball, but Suarez is standing like a man on a mission. Suarez, it is, strikes the ball into the wall. Needed to 
get the ball over the wall, really. As the ball well controlled by Semedo. And there's the curse against Semedo, giving it away to Sanchez. In Nan. Well, he got the better of Semedo, but Vidal is winning a lot of ball in midfield as uh, Ruby preparing the substitution. It'll be Leo Baptistao to come on. I think it might even be a straightforward for forward swap. As Melendo loses control, the ball out towards Dembele. Dembele robbed to the ball, wins it back unfairly so, says the referee. Little smile on the Frenchman's face, but it'll be a free kick to Espanyol. Well, there was contact, but uh, not too much. Duarte to David Lopez, Lopez back to Diego Lopez. Strokes the ball down the middle, flicked on by Sanchez. The ball now with Melendo, Melendo. Hasn't been able to get much joy this evening, but he now gets the ball out to Inan. Inan trying to get away from Semedo and Vidal. He gets a corner and that's a result. Vidal has done some fine defensive work this evening, doubling up to help Semedo where need be. The short corner, the eighth of the game. Now played into the box, nobody able to get on the end of it. It's cleared by Busquets. And Messi will play it forward for Dembélé. Dembélé advancing on the area. It's got to be an effort from Dembélé. He's got the ball still. Dembélé to Leo Messi. Messi onto his right. Lopez saves. And Dembélé not quite able to get a clear shot on goal. It's picked up by Leo Messi on the edge of the area. Looks for Jordi Alba. Alba plays it in. It's cleared from the six. And Espanyol stretched at the back there, but they do come away with it. Sanchez. Little triangle by the Blue and Whites. Ball into the middle. Borja Iglesias out to the right hand side. And Nan. And Nan shoots. And that's a, the best effort of the game so far from Espanol. Testegan having to get down to his near post. And his first, well, second save of the game, really. As Vidal forced to play it inside to Nelson Semedo, who won twos with Suarez. Now the ball back to Gerard Piquet. Rakitic gives it to Jordi Alba. Now Dembele back inside to Ivan Rakitic. Barca with three goals and two posts as Leo Messi with a typical stroke ball over to Jordi Alba. Alba unable to return the ball, so it'll be a goal kick. Certainly that was the best effort of the game from the home team. And then Perez turning inside long lay. Testegan having to get down. Leo Messi almost making it number four moments ago. Well, Baptista coming on for Hernan Perez. Again, that makes sense. Hernan Perez not getting a lot of joy. Nor is Melendo. As Melendo plays the ball out to the right now to Javi Lopez. Back inside for Oscar Melendo. Melendo to Victor Sanchez. Roca. Rockham back to Sanchez to the edge of the area. Didac side to Rocker. Sanchez tempted to play it in. There's players waiting in the box. Didac shows too much of it to Semedo. Semedo gets the ball off to Busquets. Busquets finds Rakitic. And now the ball going back. To Testegan. Chips it out to Nelson Semedo. Semedo turn inside Sanchez. Combining once again with Arturo Vidal. And now long lay. Rakitic to Jordi Alba. Back inside to the Croatian. Vidal. PK. PK back to Longley. 
Now Dembélé loses possession and Rocker picks it up, plays it forward. Piquet on the halfway line, he loses it. Now Espanyol storming forward with Sergi Dardere on the ball for the Blue and Whites. Rocker out to Didac into the last half hour here. Three goals to the good Barcelona. Rocker plays out to the right to Javi Lopez. Lopez gets it off to Dardere. Dardere being hounded by Rakitic. Does well to keep possession for the Blue and Whites. It's with Didac. Inside for Rocker. Ball played neatly by Baptiste but Piquet is there to shield Borja Iglesias away. And Ter Stegen rolls the ball out, gets it back from Rakitic. Now to Leo Messi. Messi turns away from one, is chipped up by Dardere. And Busquets claiming more than a free kick, Del Cero Grande very much in control of this game so far and justifying his UEFA elite referee tag. Sixty two minutes gone. Certainly, although Espanol have had more attacks in this. Start to the second half, also still look threatening. Busquets has it, gives it to Messi, out to Rakitic, Rakitic to Jordi Alba, Alba back to Ivan. Drops the ball off now for Longley, Longley to Piquet. Piquet out towards Alba, headed away at the cost of a throw in by Javi Lopez. Sergio Garcia will come on for Espanyol. And he will replace the other winger. So basically, Ruby now playing with three forwards. Um, Baptiste Borja and Sergio Garcia. Ruby continuing the Espanyol tradition of bringing through a lot of youngsters. Looking for a little bit more experience in the last half hour here. It's the ball with FCB forward to Dembele. Dembele drops off for Suarez. Suarez brought down by Victor Sanchez. And it'll be a free kick. And this one more like 25 metres out to the left of goal. And again, although Messi is the number one candidate, Suarez will feel that if this is an area in which he could... Uh, have a pop, but it's Leo Messi, the world's number one over the ball. And Suarez just walks away. The conversation has been had, or the decision's been made. And PK has joined the Barca players on the edge of the penalty area in case Leo Messi decides to chip it in. But he's looking at goal as well. Let's see what he decides. Piquet and Swanev having a conversation. They're on the edge of the penalty area. As Messi steps up, goes for goal, and he's got it! Leo Messi has scored again and makes it 4-0. And Diego Lopez distraught in the, Barca, in the Espanol goal. Because again, he had an idea where it might go, but he couldn't get there. And Leo Messi gets his 11th goal of the season and goes joint Pichichi top scorer in the Spanish league. This was an even more impressive goal than the first one. That's his fourth free kick goal in the league in what is only week 15. Well, if you've got a youngster who wants to take free kicks for his local team, just tell him to watch the video of these goals. 
Not that it'd be easy to replicate. Leo Messi then makes it Espanyol nil. Barcelona for 65 minutes gone. And it's all three points for Barcelona. And you wonder whether Valverde will think of moving the bench. Certainly is ideal circumstances to do so. And of course, Barca back in action this Tuesday when they play Tottenham in the Champions League of the Camp Nou. They follow that up with a league game next weekend with Leganes, one of many of the more modest teams who are in the Spanish First Division. I really can't remember a season where there were so many kind of small uh, clubs in the top flight and a lot of them are surprising many people long range effort into the hands of Ter Stegen and no real threat there for the Barca goalkeeper Rocker looking to surprise him as Ter Stegen gives the ball to Semedo Semedo combining once more with Arturo Vidal Vidal plays it back to Gerard Piquet Pique finds Ter Stegen, a few whistles going up again. But I tell you what, um, there's a fair few Espanol fans who decided to leave. I mean, it is 10 past 10, Spanish time, kind of tapas time as the ball goes into the pass the box. Could be a chance with Jordi Alba is there to prevent Didac getting on the end of it. Fine work from the Barca left back. It's two balls on the pitch. Play continues, ball drilled in, oh, and that was just wide by Borja Iglesias under pressure from Longley. Indeed, it does make sense, doesn't it, to make a change there. Dembele, one of the goal scorers going off, and on will come Coutinho. Not good news if you're an Espanol defender. We've had Dembele charging at you. Now Javi Lopez has to deal with Coutinho halfway through the second half. To things not getting better for Espanyol here. Good performance by Dembele in that outstanding strike and assist for him. So it'll be a goal kick to be taken by Ter Stegen. Plays it. Long headed away by Duarte. Vidal wins it in the middle. Gives it to Busquets. Busquets, Semedo. Semedo taken out by Victor Sanchez, who surely is close to a card here. Well, as I said, I'm not criticizing the referee because I think maybe he could have given a card out on this occasion, but because it's one of those ones where the player's already got rid of the ball and a little tap there from uh, the feisty Victor Sanchez. But uh, Del Cerro Grande very much in control of this game. Coutinho already involved. Coutinho moving forward. He's inside the penalty area. Coutinho strikes, what a save! Vidal, Leo Messi and another save by Lopez. Coutinho really hit the ball with so much power. Lopez able to parry it away but then Vidal heading it back towards Messi and Messi having his effort saved as well a double stop there by Diego Lopez who is very much responsible alongside the woodwork with keeping this score line at only four goals to Barcelona we've got him down as having made five saves so five plus two by the woodwork this could easily have been in double figures Barca dominating in a way I haven't seen them um, do to this level for some time. As Longley plays it down the left hand side, Javi Lopez recovers, unable to give the ball to a teammate. And now it's played down the left towards Alba. Suarez challenging Baptistao, shrugs him off. Gives in to Didac. Didac back to a very busy Diego Lopez. Lopez lifts the ball into the middle of the field. It's headed on, but Semedo is there. 
So Meadow has the confidence to withstand the challenge, give it to Busquets and Busquets to Longley. Longley now to Rakitic, out to Jordi Alba into the last 20. All three points certainly are Barcelona's, but will Espanyol get the so-called goal of honour? Or will Barca increase their lead? Baptistao plays inside to Roca. Roca combining with Javi Lopez. Lopez back to Roca. David Lopez. Lopez finds Duarte. Down the middle to Darder. Darder. Chipped it forward. Jordi Alba is there with the header. And Busquets gives it to Coutinho. Oh, and Coutinho over the head of Sanchez. And now Leo Messi tries the same. Duarte not having it. And Darder plays it back to David Lopez. Look at the determination of Messi to get the ball back. Didn't do so on this occasion, but he's uh, defended well when he's needed to. Leo Messi setting an example as the captain as Espanyol have it with Didac. Didac forward to Sanchez. Sanchez goes down. Pique feels rather too easily. And it'll be a free kick some 10 metres out in favour of the Blue and Whites as they prepare to make a third and final substitution. Granero will come on, maybe for Sergi Dardier on the right-hand side of the midfield. Sergi Garcia, Sergio rather, Garcia over the ball now. Too far out to be thinking of going for goal. Piquet leading the defensive line. Certainly there's a blue and white shirt behind them. As Garcia plays it in, and it's a goal for Espanyol. Duarte, who had a header in the first half, saved by Ter Stegen. 72 minutes gone. And they celebrate the goal, but surely it'll just be consolation. It's a good finish by Duarte. Picked up on his right foot. Barca felt there might have been an offside flag indeed. We'll have a moment's VAR. I don't think he is, though. Vidal looks to be the furthest back. And um, I'm not confident that that'll be called back at all. There is a player ahead of uh, Vidal, but he's not the one that makes contact with the ball. And indeed, we are having a VAR moment. Jaime Latra is the referee. They have top referees on the field and top referees in the VAR room. And uh, they're just having a, another look at it. But I don't think they're going to be calling this one back. And uh, I think it is worth the pause in the game. And you see they're in dialogue now. And the referees carrying on the conversation. So maybe it will be called back. Well, they're still talking, and uh, normally that gets the fans worried, the fans of the team who've just scored, because they feel that they're discussing reasons for the goal not to stand. And still... It's been revised. And uh, I think Ruby and the Espanol players will be complete. <laughs> there was a good little moment that um, Sergio Garcia's put his finger up and say, well, it's only, four, you know, it's only a, a goal, as in it's 4-1. It's not, uh, or shouldn't end up being a decisive goal. We're just over quarter of an hour to go, Barcelona leading 4-1, but wait because the goal is being revised it's being looked at I mean Latra in the VAR room, talking to Del Cero Grande of course the final decision will be Del Cero Grande's
Oh, and he's coming over to look at the screen, and it's offside. VAR have taken the goal away. Well, there is a player. Well, it is. Well, I was thinking it was another player who got the who was offside, but indeed, um, VAR has proved me wrong, and that was offside and no goal. Um, so once again, the VAR has uh, been used successfully, and hence the delay in the decision, because if there's not much doubt about it, they hardly have to look at it. But um, on this occasion, they decided, and quite rightly so, that Duarte was just offside. PK had said as the free kick was being taken that Espanyol were pushing the line too much, and indeed that's what happened. And uh, Duarte, who got the goal, what do we call those goals? The disallowed goal, um, was just a fraction offside behind Vidal. So Espanyol still looking for the so-called goal of honour here as their run is down the left-hand side by Didac, plays it in, but Pique clears it as far as Vidal, Victor Sanchez tearing in and uh, plays the ball out for a throw into Barcelona. Barca have only made the one substitution. They still have on the bench Silasen, Dennis, Munir, Vermelen, Elena Miranda. You'd be tempted maybe to make another substitution, although Barca do have that Champions League game against Tottenham where, and as they're already through that might be a game where we see a little bit of the so-called rotation the ball with Jordi Alba Alba plays it inside to Longley Longley being closed down by Baptistao Baptistao with a needless foul after the ball had been played away so it'll be a free kick still no yellow cards in this game but as I said Del Cero Grande has the game well under control A late challenge there by Baptist Town. Really, no need for it. It's a free kick taken by Longley. Played forward, Suarez in a battle with the Costa Rican Duarte as Suarez is given the ball by V down. Now, Leo Messi. Messi looks to step inside Didac. Didac grabs hold of his shirt, as we often say in Spanish football. One of the easiest ways to get a yellow card is to a shirt. <laughs> Didac Villa will now miss Espanyol's next game. It was uh, fairly blatant with 78 minutes gone. We get our first yellow card of the game. Mundia about to come on and he will replace. He's taking the place of a forward. There's a lot of whistles. You can guess who it is, I imagine. Luis Suarez, one of the goal scorers this evening will give up his place for the last 12 minutes or so. To Munir. As Messi plays the free kick in all the way to Rakitic, whose shot is blocked. It'll be a corner though. Rakitic claiming a corner. I don't know if the referee's given a goal kick there. No, it certainly is a corner. Leo Messi coming over to take with the assistance of Coutinho. So just waiting for the corner for Barca. The third of the game. Played short to Coutinho. Coutinho to Leo Messi. Back into Coutinho. Who bursts into the area. He'll come off. Almost for another corner. Borca though will play it off. Coutinho, it'll be a throw in to the home team. And there will be a third substitution, no surprise there, from Barcelona. I think it's Dennis Suarez who's preparing to come on. Victor Sanchez picks up on the halfway line, being shepherded away by Alba. Still the one two with Javi Lopez is successful, and the long ball played forward out for a throw-in to Barcelona. The 
be a throw in taken by Nelson Semedo as we go into the last 10 minutes. He receives the ball back from Vidal. Semedo's giving it away. Could this be an opportunity? It's not Baptist Stau unable to play the ball back in and it comes off. Long lay will be a corner for the Budgies. The Budgies, because their nickname is the Pericos, the corner played short. Granero to Sergio Garcia, ball into the box. The header is over the crossbar. And it was Victor Sanchez with a fine effort there. And probably, no, not probably, certainly their best corner of the game. Sergio Garcia's ball in. Sanchez with the header over the crossbar. Well, it's Rakitic, the player leaving the field. Rakitic with a fine game, being replaced by Dennis. So midfield now of Vidal, Busquets and Dennis up front. Messi, Suarez and Coutinho. Also looking still very comfortable and maybe just taking their foot off the pedal a little bit though Leo Messi wouldn't agree with that he's looking for his hat trick two goals so far for the Barcelona star and although we don't always do it let's give him the MVP as Espanyol lose the ball in midfield Busquets gets ahead on it the ball dropped off by Dennis picked up by Duarte and now the blue and whites pushing forward good step over by the ref and Sergio Garcia losing out to PK PK able to get it back to Nelson Semedo Semedo feeds Ter Stegen now long lay out to Jordi Alba Alba into the midfield area Coutinho is bundled over but play continues it was Munir rather who was uh, pushed over his Coutinho on the ball. Coutinho to Leo Messi. Messi out to Dennis. Dennis goes into the area. The ball comes off. Didak. And he'll be a corner. And it's all gone just a little bit quiet in the stadium. As I said, a lot of the fans, it wasn't full to begin with. Only two thirds of the seats were taken. And. Um, with the onslaught of goals, uh, many of fans has decided to beat the traffic. It's Coutinho receiving the short ball. Now played inside to Jordi Alba. Alba out to the right wing. Dennis on the ball for FCB. Plays it in to the far post. Munir brings it down, hooks it in. Vidal almost getting on the end of it. And they're unable to do so, of course. Barca would like another goal because there's this big thing in Spanish football about the so-called Manita, the the five goals so you can celebrate to on, well, work on a Monday morning with the fans of the other team by raising the hand. Um, back to the action, it's Barca in possession. Free kick on the far side but for the chance by Lopez. No, it's not. Play continues. Baptist Stout gives it away to Arturo Vidal forward and picked out by David Lopez. Now Espanyol with a chance to play it in. Sanchez to Baptistao. Granero, Baptistao looking to trick the ball in and just wide of the post. Might have taken a deflection. I think it will be another corner for the blue and whites. Indeed came off long late corner to be taken by Granero Granero no doubt swing this one in it's the near post again and again Barca able to defend it and indeed Barcelona on the break now Alba gives it to Leo Messi Messi spots Piquet Piquet heads it back 
to Dennis. Piquet goes to the centre forward position. If they can get the ball in, Dennis was being held. Indeed, it'll be a free kick. Del Cerro Grande initially allowed play to continue, but pulled it back. A few people in um, Christmas hats as it's that time of year. Of course, today is a national holiday in Spain, as was Thursday, and some people did the so-called bridge holiday, taking Friday off. So an extra long weekend for the Barca fans to celebrate alongside what is at the moment a 4-0 victory over Espanyol. Leo Messi then, Piquet amongst the players in the box, comes in Vidal, oh, and it was long lay at the back post who almost cut on the end of it, but it went all the way through for a goal kick that will have to be taken again. So Diego Lopez in no hurry, not because he's wasting time, I just think because he's kind of feeling, well, yes, I think, what's the word for it? <laughs> Lopez then with the ball, chips it into midfield. Immediately a combination of Busquets and Vidal put in Espanyol under pressure, but they come away with the ball, long ball forward, Jordi Alba able to head it towards Ter Stegen, but past him. So it'll be another corner for the blue and whites on the right-hand side as we look at goal. Valverde in conversation with the fourth referee. Meanwhile, the corner's been taken. Ball played into the box, headed away by Busquets to Dennis. Dennis back to Busquets. Busquets hauled to the ground by Victor Sanchez. A nice little handshake between the pair of them. I think it was Sanchez and Busquets who had a big Teletubby hug before the game. As we're getting to see the, the actual VAR image that shows that um, Duarte was just offside in the disallowed goal. Munia sets off on the left wing, covered though by David Lopez. Javi Lopez plays inside to Granero. Lopez, Javi playing it down the right. Sergio Garcia won't get there because Jordi Alba does. It's a throw into Espanol. The ball with Granero. Then Roca playing it forward. Oh, and that'll be a free kick against Arturo Vidal, and it's in an interesting area. It's kind of, less, it's Leo Messi territory, but for the other team, Sergio Garcia. I'm not sure what Vidal is complaining about there. It's a pretty straightforward free kick. And uh, Ter Stegen signaling that he just wants two people in the wall. I'm not sure if they've seen him. There's three there now. Busquets and Vidal, well, Busquets, yep. Just checking with Ter Stegen, two-man wall. Vidal and Busquets, and now you've got Granero. And you'd fancy Granero to go for goal. I think he'd rather it on the other side of the D. Granero it is. 26 metres out. Granero flicks it in, looking for the header, and it's a soft one and an easy pick by Ter Stegen, who rolls the ball gently out to Gerard Piquet. Messi with a double. Suarez and Dembele, the scorers in the 4-0 victory we're witnessing at the RCDE Stadium. We're into the last minute, plus I would imagine three added on before we head off for some tapas of our own. Not trying to make you hungry or anything, but... Uh, Barca then, with over 50% of the possession and 100% possession of the goals, Jordi Alba cuts the ball inside. Coutinho unable to get there, but he fights to win it back and does so. Coutinho on the ball now. Unable to get around Granero. Granero in possession. Playing it back to Duarte. Forward once again to Granero. He's got a delightful pass on him. Pings it out to the right. Sergio Garcia. Vidal cutting it out, but recovered by Borja Iglesias. Didac. Now to Sanchez. The return ball to Sanchez. 
plays it back. There's the effort. It's blocked by Semedo as Borja Iglesias smothered. There's another effort, but Didac's effort always oh, spinning away from goal. And Vidal going down. All the substitutions have been made by Valverde. So no chance of bringing anyone on. Barca would have to play out the remaining minutes. Oh, and you can see why Vidal is hurting. Long lay has stepped on his right knee and he's not been able to get off quickly enough. That was a, a painful looking challenge. Vidal being seen to now as we're into five minutes that have been added on to the 90 we've already enjoyed. Vidal being told that <laughs> there's no more substitutions. Busquets always also going down. Oh dear me. Busquets got it in the back there from the boot of Didac. So both Busquets and Vidal going off. Boss will be down to nine men for a moment. Vidal joking there. Because of course, could you score four goals in three and a half minutes? I suppose technically you could, but uh, you don't want to mention that subject of conversation to any PSG fans, of course. So it'll be a goal kick to Barcelona. We're into the last three minutes of the five added on. Ter Stegen will take Del Cero Grande, waves Vidal and Busquets back on. So now with 11 players, let's just not even consider the four goal scenario. Indeed, Espanyol have never really looked like getting more than the odd goal, picking up the odd one as Leo Messi receives on this near side. Tricks his way around Didac. Still Messi. Good ball out to Coutinho, who lets him run to Jordi Alba. Alba on the edge of the area, being shielded away. Looks for the pass, and uh, Sergio Garcia with some fine defensive work plays it back to his keeper. Diego Lopez lifts into the middle. Pique, well advanced, heads it forward, but it's David Lopez to Granero. Granero gets away from Vidal. He's then brought down by Jordi Alba, so it'll be a free kick. Certainly Espanyol not giving up on the uh, chance of changing the scoreline. As Victor Sanchez plays the ball in, Busquets with the clearance, and Piquet plays it out to Dennis. He was looking for the return ball. Piquet wants to score. Boy, does he want to score. He scored in the league here last season. That was a vital goal because... Barcelona were losing to a Gerard Moreno goal with just eight minutes to go before PK equalised and uh, he's resigned now to not scoring because uh, just over a minute to go and Barca have the ball at the back. Long lay to Ter Stegen who lifts it over to PK. The Espanol fans who have remained trying to get behind their team but... Uh, it's not been, from their point of view, an enjoyable experience as Sanchez was holding on to PK. It'll be a free kick as we go into the last minute in the RCDE Stadium. Leganes next weekend. Tottenham on Tuesday. And this month, of course, we'll have the Champions League draw the knockout stage. Good work here by Dennis. Dennis bringing the ball forward. Munir to his right. Munir inside the area. Shoots and it's deflected into the hands of Diego Lopez. And a fairly easy stop in the end for the ex-Real Madrid keeper. Didac on the ball. Barca pushing forward. It'll go back to Diego Lopez. Lopez gives it to Duarte. Duarte to Granero. The five minutes are up. I would imagine we're not going to get much added on to these five, although there were two players down, Vidal and Busquets. So maybe there'll be time for one last attack. It'll be an attack by 
Espanyol as they have the ball inside the Barca half. Sergio Garcia loses out. Vidal brings him down. And it'll be a free kick. Some of the fans hoping for a yellow card. Just one yellow card in the game so far. Didac, the player having been booked. And uh, no complaints there from Vidal, surely, about the free kick. And it's uh, pretty much the same position as Granero's last uh, free kick. And although he could be tempted for going for goal, I think he'll ping this one in. Just chips it in to Sergio Garcia. Garcia unable to get around Munir. That will be the last action of the game. There is the final whistle in Barcelona. Uh, have not conceded away from home for the first time since the week two of the league. So double joy for Valverde, double goals from Leo Messi, Dembélé and Suarez getting the other ones. We'll be back with you on Tuesday for Tottenham. But a resounding victory for Barcelona. Hope you enjoyed it. We did. But that's all for now, folks.